In this video series, I'm going to teach you how to use a relatively new piece of software called Flipgrid. And what Flipgrid basically is, is a video discussion platform. It's where teachers create a grid, which is basically a community of learners or your classroom, and you post a topic question or a theme or a video or something to spark a conversation in your classroom. What the difference is with Flipgrid is that the students are going to respond to your topic and or theme by using video. So after you post a topic, the students will gain access to your Flipgrid and they will record themselves either in 30 second or 60 second or 90 seconds and they will record their response or their answer. Flipgrid allows the users, the students to post their response as well as respond to the other students posts as well. Um, it's really interactive. It can be a lot of fun for those students who are a little bit afraid to raise their hands in the back of the class. Um, and it's very simple to put together. There's only three things that you're going to need to do to get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to be creating your grid. And once we log in, you're going to see how simple these steps are. Once you've created your grid or your classroom, you're going to add your first topic. What do you want the students to respond to? Do you have a particular topic or theme? And we'll go over some different ways you can integrate this into all different subject areas. Once you've created your topic and you've put your settings in as to how you want your students to respond, you're going to share a unique URL with your students, whether it be in OneNote or whatever way you communicate with your students digitally. Once your students have access to this, they are then going to be able to share their opinion or their whatever their response might be to your topic right within video and it will embed it directly into your Flipgrid. So let's get started. So Flipgrid can be accessed a number of different ways. It can be accessed on a computer on any web browser. It also has different, it has apps associated with uh, different devices. We're going to go through the online version and you can see here we are on Flipgrid.com. Now Flipgrid was recently acquired by Microsoft and Office 365 so they have made this available and free for all teachers and all users. So in order to begin you're going to sign up with an account. So if you come up to the upper right hand side and click sign up today, they've made it really easy because it is now part of Microsoft, you do not need to create a separate Flipgrid account. You can sign up with Microsoft and this is exactly the way the students are also going to access Flipgrid, which you'll see later on in other videos. So we click sign up with, Flip with Microsoft and then you are going to log in. It will prompt you to log in with your Office 365 account. You will log in. And your Office 365 account, you will accept the permissions. And you now have quick access to Flipgrid. So step one, very easy. Then you're going to do your registration process. Once you've filled out your profile information, you will click Let's Go. And this is what the Flipgrid dashboard looks like. Now you're going to be ready to get started to actually use Flipgrid. You can see up at the top to give you a little idea of the navigation. Over here where it says My Grids, a grid is your classroom or community. So think of the word grid as a classroom because you can get a little confusing between when I talk about grids and when I talk about topics. So generally you only need to create one grid per class, but if you are a teacher who teaches multiple subject areas, this is where you could possibly create um, different grids because the topics that you create are all going to be associated with that particular grid. So I'm going to create a new grid and you're going to select the grid community type. Now, because we are an Office 365 district, we can choose school email domain, which connects students with a common Microsoft or Google school map email domain. If you are a early childhood teacher um, and their students do not have Office 365 accounts, and I'll create a separate video for, the, for that, you're going to click student ID list, okay, because you can also do this when it's with students who do not have email addresses. Uh, for this video, we're going to do school email domain. You're going to call whatever you want your grid to be called. So this could be called, let's say this is my math class, math algebra you can come up with something creative if you want and then you over here you create a flip code this is the the code that you will be giving to your students in order for them to access your grid it generates a very unique flipgrid.com you can leave it as that or if you want to get a little bit more creative you can be a little bit more specific so we can call it 
TiVo stars, and it'll tell you if it's available or not. Um, and this is a bat. You can choose a banner if you want to put at the top of your grid. Um, they've got one, some that are here, but if you have your own picture, you can upload your own picture as well. So I'm just going to pick something a little bit generic for mine. And then you're going to type in your school email domain. And what that means is um, the Office 365 account that the students use, you're going to put the all the information after the at symbol. So our Office 365 accounts are at lindbrookschools.org. So you're just going to type in lindbrookschools.org. And make sure you type this in correctly, because um, otherwise the students won't be able to access your grid. And then you're going to click Launch My Grid. And this gives you a little preview of what it, it looks like. Um, you can customize your grid with some privacy settings. We'll go over that in the next video. But this is how you're going to create your first grid. And if you're all set, you can click All Set, and you should be ready to go. And now we're going to begin adding topics to our grid.